Okay. Hey guys. Okay. So today we are doing our lesson on faces, edges, and vertices. This is for our geometry unit. And so what we're going to do today before we um, start on the paperwork is we are going to talk about all of our different shapes. Um, so let's talk about our 3D shapes that we have. So our first 3D shape, you all know this one. It's got square faces. Every piece of it is a square. What is it called? It's a, it's a cube. Very good. So that's our cube. We've got this one. I know you guys know it rolls. It's got a face on top and a face on the bottom or on each edge, depending on where you're doing that. It's round around the outside. It's a cylinder. Good. Okay. Easy, solid shape. This one has one face and that is all. It is a cone. Think about an ice cream cone. I know you all know this. No, it's not a ball. What is it called? It is a sphere. So a sphere is also the shape of the earth. It's a perfect ball. So that does that. That's another different kind of cylinder. Okay. And then these are the two that I think you guys may not know. So we're gonna go over them. This is, think of Egypt, it's a pyramid. So we've got triangles all around the outside. And on the bottom, the base is um, a square. And then this is the other one. This one can be a little bit confusing sometimes. So this one kind of looks like a cube, but it's not because not every face is the exact same size. That one's smaller, okay? So this is actually, if you look right there, you can see what shape right there. That is a rectangle. So this is a rectangular prism. Here's another version. This is the easier version of the rectangular prism. Sometimes you might have a square on two of the faces, but the rest of the faces are made of rectangles. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen with you guys and we are gonna go ahead and go through the paper together and I'll kind of go back and forth. Plus you can see me up in the corner. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to connect the dots and this is geometry and it's shaped, so we want to make sure that we are doing as straight a line as possible. So we'll go one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, six to seven, seven to eight. We're going to trace the same line, eight to nine, nine to ten, and ten to eleven. You just drew what shape? That's right, that was a cube. Okay, so go ahead and turn it over. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the different pieces of it. So it says, you can describe three-dimensional shapes by the number of faces, edges, and vertices. I know you guys know vertices and faces um, from kindergarten and first grade, so let's talk about them again. Um, a face is a flat surface, so if you we look at this down here, this is a face, and this is a face, and this is a face, and this, and this, okay? So there's lots of different faces on each one. Um, if we look at this, this is not a flat surface, but this is, so that would be a face, and that would be a face, but we'll go through each one. So a face is a flat surface, an edge is where two faces meet. So we'll use the rectangular prism. So there, here's a face, and here's a face, so where they come together, this edge right here, this is your edge. It's where two faces meet. So there's an edge, there's an edge, there's an edge, there's an edge. It's basically the ridge that goes from one face to another, okay? So that's a face. Those are faces and edges. And then a vertex is a point where two lines meet, but because we are doing solid shapes now, not flat or plain shapes, these um, will have vertices because more than one vertex is called a vertice. So where it's where three or more faces meet, so I've got face number one, face number two, and face number three, it's the points are the vertices, okay? So the points that go around. So we're gonna go through each one and do them together. So we need to know how many faces, how many edges, how many vertices. So I'm gonna go back and forth a lot here. So we're gonna start with our cube. So I'm gonna stop sharing and we're gonna to go to that. Okay, so we're gonna do faces first, so flat surfaces first. So we've got, what I like to do when I do this is I always do top and bottom first. So one, two, and then I do the back. 
three, four, five, six. So if I look at it, I've got one, two, three, four, five, and then all the way on the other side is six, okay? So we've got six faces. Next thing we need to do is edges. Edges is the tough one. So again, what I like to do is I like to do top and bottom first. So we've got one, two, three, four, go to the bottom, same thing. Five, six, seven, eight, and now we've got to go top to bottom. Nine, 10, 11, 12. That's a lot, okay, so that's 12. Okay, now here's the next one. The vertices is the hard one, so we're gonna count the points. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so those are those four. Now we're gonna go down to the bottom. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's go back to the paper. Okay, we said we had six faces, and I'll do it again. Top and bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six faces, okay? Edges, one, two, three, four, same four on the bottom, five, six, seven, eight, and then up the sides, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's the biggest one, 12. And then remember, oops, there's an ant on my table, yuck. <laughs> We're gonna do vertices, which are your points. So we've got one, two, three, four, and then flip it over, five, six, whoops, seven, eight. Don't mind my fingers, I wrote on it with a Crayola marker and that's what happens, I got dirty fingers now. <laughs> Okay, so that's our cube. Let's go to our rectangular prism. Rectangular prisms and cubes are a lot alike. So let's count those. So again, I'm gonna do top and bottom. So one, two, we're doing faces, the flat sides. Three, four, five, six. That's six faces. Okay, well, I'll start it again so you can see it again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, do you think edges are gonna be the same? It's pretty close to the same shape. It's just different shapes that make up the face. So let's do our edges. Remember edges are our ridges that go around. So one, two, three, four, there's your top. Go to your bottom. Five, six, seven, eight. And now we're gonna go up the sides. Nine, 10, 11, 12. So that's 12 edges. Vertices are the points where they meet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. Okay, let's go down to the pyramid. This again is going to be the thing that helps you through the next page. So let's keep going. Okay, so faces, so flat surfaces. There's no face on top. So let's look at the bottoms. So we've got one, so there's one face. And then let's go around the, the sides. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got five faces. This one's a tricky one. Okay, edges, oof. Okay, so we go around the bottom. So let me get it so I think you guys can see it better. There we go. So one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go up five, six, seven, eight edges. Okay, vertices are the points. So we've got one, whoops, one, two, three, four, and then you guessed it, right up there, they all come up to meet at the last point or the last vertice, vertex, five. There are five vertices on a pyramid. Okay, sphere. Okay, how many flat surfaces do you have on a sphere? None, very good. So we have zero faces. How many edges, how many places where the flat sides meet? Oh wait, there are no flat sides. So how many edges? Zero. And a vertex is where three or more faces meet. Well, if it has no faces, it can't have any vertexes either or vertices either. So you're gonna be another one with zero. So remember, this is gonna help us get through the next page. It says, what figure has six equal faces? Mm. Equal faces, exact same shape, exact same size. Would it be that one? Which ones had six faces? We had rectangular prism and cube. 
this one doesn't have sides that are the exact same, so it can't be this one, so that means it has to be the cube. And we know because every face of a cube is made out of a square, so that makes it easy. Okay, let's go on and see what our next things to do are. It says, circle the shapes that match the description. Zero edges, zero, or zero faces, zero edges, zero vertices. So you're gonna circle the shapes that match. Sometimes there's gonna be more than one shape. This is why I said you might wanna have this out here to help you. That way you can use this information to help you answer these. And then same thing here, circle the objects. So here they give you a 3D version of your 3D shape or your solid shape. And down here, they give you real life objects that are in that shape. So that's how you do those. So go ahead and circle. Sometimes there will be more than one, sometimes there will only be one. So you have to pay attention to that. Again, you might need your front page to help you do this. But as soon as you are um, done, go ahead and work through these. Go ahead and try the hot problem. And if you guys have any questions, I will um, answer them during our next Zoom meeting. So let me stop sharing. I hope you guys have a good time with this, enjoy, and maybe during Zoom, if you can find some things that are solid shapes, some cubes or some cylinders around the house, maybe we can share them tomorrow. So I'll see you guys later. Good luck.